today I am 13 weeks and four days pregnant. So this video is kind of going to be like a two-in-one. I'm updating on my pregnancy this week, but there's not like too much to really update on. So I decided I would just kind of make it like a two-in-one video. I'm calling it a life update video, but really it's just a custody update video because I have had so many comments asking what the custody situation is now, and I was waiting to answer the question because, again, it's been a long process, a long, like, court journey, so I can officially answer that question now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put both videos in one. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my pregnancy this week. It is so hot outside today, so I feel like I'm already sweating, so if I look gross, that's why. I think it's gonna be like 95 degrees today or something, I don't know, it's really hot. So my number one symptom this week, which is really, really frustrating, is my face has been breaking out so bad. Like, I don't know if you can really tell, um, cause I have makeup on, but my face has just exploded with acne everywhere, especially like on my forehead. It's pretty normal for me to get like a zit or two here and there. I thought that was supposed to stop when you were done being a teenager, but at age 24, I'm still having breakouts. However, these kind of breakouts are significant, like way different than what I'm used to. On my forehead, you probably can't tell too much right now, but my forehead has just like bumps everywhere like it almost looks like a rash even so I don't know maybe it is more of a rash but I just have been breaking out like blackheads regular zits like everywhere just breaking out and on top of that my skin has been so so dry part of that could be the fact that the weather has been changing so maybe that's what it is I don't know I'm thinking it's probably more of pregnancy because it's been like this whole week and it's only warmed up these past two days so I'm not liking these pregnancy hormones. It is making me so <laughs> On top of that, I know I've talked about this a lot, but these little hairs, every time I get pregnant, they grow. Like you can see right here. So frustrating. And they are getting to a point where they're like sticking up and sticking out and it's just like, ugh. So this pregnancy is like making me ugly. And not only is my hair growing here, it's also growing everywhere else on my body. My leg hairs, like, okay, this is gonna be like a total TMI moment, but I have really, really, really blonde hairs, like on my arms and on my legs, and I could probably honestly go like a week without shaving and nobody would know, like they're that blonde. So a lot of people would say that I'm lucky in that sense. However, they have been growing so long and so thick that I'm actually having to shave my legs, and I don't do that, I never shave my, I hate shaving my legs. I never like super, super need to, like I don't have like dark hairs all over my body, so I can usually get away without shaving for a couple days, and I have not been able to, especially now with summer coming. I don't know if it's like the prenatal vitamins mixed with the hormones from this pregnancy, but I, my hair is just like growing everywhere. I also mentioned in my last update talking about my varicose veins and how it's a huge problem in my family and how I have so many already in this pregnancy being only 13 weeks I like literally in my leg I was talking to my best friend yesterday and she noticed it and she was like wow like I thought you were exaggerating and I was like nope a lot of people were telling me to buy compression stockings so I did I went on Amazon um, I don't know if there's like certain kinds specific kinds but I ordered a pair I got them yesterday and I wore them for the first time today and they actually feel really good it feels like it's like super hard to explain but I can just tell that the circulation is better in my legs so the only part that I'm worried about is that wearing stockings all the time in the Central Valley in California it's about to be summer I don't know realistically how much I'm going to be able to wear them we have 110 degree days here and if that's the case I'm not gonna want to be wearing stockings that are like they're supposed to be nude but nothing for a redhead is really nude because we're like transparent so the nude on me looks like completely dark tan doesn't match my skin color whatsoever so I could not get away with wearing them like with shorts or anything even a skirt would be really pushing it so they're kind of gonna have to be like an at-home thing or if it's like cool enough to wear pants outside then I could probably wear them underneath hopefully me wearing them at least some of the time will help because I really feel better even just wearing them I think I wore them for like two hours this morning and I already feel better so I'm gonna keep that up and then hopefully when it gets cooler in the cooler months I can wear them more but those things are so hard 
to put on like it was a struggle I don't know how I'm gonna be doing that when I have like an actual belly blocking me also if you haven't seen the video already I just posted the baking soda gender test I have had a lot of people tell me to do that one if you haven't watched that I will put a link down below or you can click right here and you can watch that video so go click that video before I spoil what the result is I'll wait so if you have watched the video, then you know that we got a boy result with that one. So that was very interesting because with Landon, I got a girl result. And with this one, I'm getting a boy result. So did the baking soda gender test work for you? I want to know. Tell me in the comments below. Also, the baby has been moving so much. I can probably feel the baby at least five times a day. I still cannot feel it on the outside whatsoever. Trust me, I've tried. I'll like wait and wait and wait and wait and I'll be feeling it on the inside and there's nothing on the outside. The baby's still too small for that. But I have definitely been feeling the baby move and I don't feel any sort of like pattern yet as far as like time of day or anything. But I'm definitely feeling the little flutters and I just love that feeling. Also, this dang tape measure. People keep telling me again and again and again and again, why aren't you doing the tape measure this time? And I lost the one that I had previously, so I had to go out and buy one. I can only find a pink one. I couldn't find like a normal one. I don't know. So hopefully you can read the numbers okay on this. Um, but I actually, I had this last week and I just completely spaced on remembering to do it in my video. So I have this. <laughs> I'm going to try to remember every week. I'm just going to like leave a note in my phone on the top of my list to like bring the tape measure. I almost forgot again for this video, but luckily I wrote it down. So we're gonna start measuring my belly this week. We're gonna start at 13 weeks, so we don't have like an original place to start, so that's kind of a bummer, but better late than never. So now moving on to the custody situation. And the reason I'm kind of putting this in this week's vlog is because it happened this week. And this is of course referring to the boy's dad, but we had yet another court date on this previous Monday. I'm not gonna go too much into it. I'm not gonna go into all the super details. But basically, as of Monday, I have sole physical custody of the boys. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking that. He does get visitation two days a month. He can come see them on two days throughout the month or at my discretion. It's been a long, long journey, as you guys who have been following me know. But I do officially now have sole physical custody of them. It's been a long time coming, it's been a really long journey up to this point, but I'm really happy with the outcome at this point. If he wants to, like I said, he is allowed to see them for a few hours on two days of the month. So thank you to everyone who has been like supporting me throughout that situation. It's been a long journey, like I said, up to this point, but that's where we stand. Like I said, I'm not going to go into the details of it, but that's the gist of it. So I think that's really all I have to update on this week. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys my 13 week belly. Hopefully you guys can see this okay, but um, with this shirt on, I mean, you still can't really tell. I just look chunky. And so this is with the shirt up, but I don't know. I still don't feel like it's really a baby bump. I still just feel mostly like bloated, but I guess there could be a little bit of a little bump there. So that is where we're at with the baby bump or the baby bloat. <laughs> so our starting point for this pregnancy, starting at 13 weeks, right at... 35. I don't know if you guys can see that. So that is it for this week, guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope I covered everything and answered everybody's questions. But that is it for this week, and I will talk to you guys next week for week 14 already. I feel like this pregnancy has been flying by, like flying. I can't believe I'm already going to be 14 weeks. But anyway, I will talk to you guys next week for week 14. Bye. The number one question that people are asking is, am I going to have another home birth? Here is our nub shot with this baby. Baby number five.